G'day guys, welcome back. We're out here on the water, heading out wide. Uh, it's another day of game fishing today, so got the lures ready to set, and we'll be towing them out to the 150 meter mark today. Heading out there a couple of weeks ago, some yellowfin caught out here, so hopefully we can get on some fish today. Conditions, pretty mint, there's no wind. There's a pretty big swell rolling through here though, two meter swell, and uh, not gonna lie, it's a bit daunting, but it's meant to drop off throughout today, so hopefully, you know, won't be too bad this afternoon, but for now it's a bit gnarly, but it's all good, can't let that stop us, so gonna head out wide, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get on some fish today, so see you guys when we get out there. Alright, so 15 k's later, we're out here into the blue water, and it's looking really nice today quite warm for this time of year we're just under 20 degrees and uh, someone on the radio has just hooked up not too far away so all good signs sort of in the right territory now just creeping up on the 150 so gonna hang around this sort of uh, depth and um, yeah keep pedaling hopefully something turns up That was super cool. Just back there, I saw a lone uh, shellfish. Now, I can't remember the exact name. I'm probably going to stuff this up. I think that's called like a paper nautilus or something like that. Um, it's like a white shelled octopus squid type thing. And they're extremely rare to see. Well, so I've heard anyway. I just saw one back there on the surface of the water. And uh, it didn't hang a lap around very long. I could have grabbed it if I'd been quick, but... It went under the kayak and I think I got a bit of footage of it on my um, other camera but that was so cool to see. It's just one of them by itself so very rare sight. Epic, you just never know what you're going to see out here. So cool. Got a pot of dolphins just past me and more coming straight towards the kayak. Oh look, there's one right there. They're all coming in to check me out. So epic. Oh look at that. Right under the kayak. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! That's all so cool! A lot of dolphins, that's for sure. Must be a good 30 odd dolphins around here. Man, they are big creatures. It's not until you get right up next to them that you realize how big these things are. Oh man, there's hundreds of them. That's a huge pot of dolphins. Wow. Surely that's got to mean this is where the bait fish are. Surely. Oh wow, here comes a whole lot of them. Mount epic, how cool. Just gotta hope now that they don't take one of my lures out the back. I think they're much smarter than that, but try and give these guys a bit of a burst. There it is folks, we've cracked 20. So uh, where are these fish? We're quite, quite a way offshore now, probably 18 k's. And uh, since those dolphins, 
which was about 30 minutes ago no action so just a waiting game there are a few other boats out around here and uh, haven't heard of anyone else hooking up but anything could happen any minute now damn so something just hit the lure didn't stick but it pulled a bit of string before the hook pulled so I'm gonna loop back around do another lap over the spot see if we can uh, get back onto whatever that was didn't was it kind of been massive wasn't screaming off but who knows let's lap around and see what we can find Alrighty, we got a double hook up <coughs> Oh no, I think we've dropped it. I think we've dropped one of them. Oh no, or is it still there? Can't tell. I think we dropped it. Oh no, here it comes, it's coming up to the kayak. Oh, we got ourselves a tuna. Not a yellow fin, just a uh, skippy by the looks. Be a skippy or an LB. Yeah, it's a little skippy. Oh no, it's an LB. Woohoo! There it goes. This will be my first LB for the kayak. Not the target species, but we'll take it. It's a bloody nice LB, too. Didn't even have time to get my head on. <laughs> wow, look at that run. Here it comes, we'll see if we can get the gap into it this time. Nope. He's got other plans. <laughs> Here it is, my first LB for the kayak, if I can get this gaff into it. There we go, gaff's in. Woohoohoo! Stoked! There we go, LB landed. Yeehaw! It's epic! I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get my hat on first and I'm gonna wind this other line and we might have, an, I think we had two on for a bit there, so we might have another one on the other line. Hopefully it's not tangled up in my prop, it's right under the kayak, so. Right, the other lowers. The lure's not around the prop, which is a bonus. I don't think there's a fish on. Nah. Oh no, there is a fish on. <laughs> we do have a double hookup, I think. Yeah, we got another fish on. Stoked as. Whatever this is, this one feels much smaller. In fact, it's so small, I'm not even sure whether we've got a fish. Pretty sure there's something on there. Yeah, there's definitely something on there. Probably another LB. Must have gone over a school of them. Yeah, here it comes. This one's much smaller. But it's another albacore. Yeah, this is a really little one. Woohoohoo! <laughs> ah, look at it go! <laughs> 
See if we can whack this into the kayak without the gaff. I'm real nervous about those hooks. But there we go. Got it in. Albacore number two. Haha, <laughs> stoked as. My first Albies for the kayak. It's not the uh, yellow fin we're after, but can't complain about that. Two beautiful uh, Albacore tuna. There's those peck fins. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> this guy's just a little one, but that first one we pulled in, that's a really nice LB. So, what I'm going to do now is quickly bleed these guys and put them out of their misery because they're best uh, eaten when they've been bled. So, while they're still kicking around, get a knife into the gills, get this blood out of them, and uh, yeah, then put them out of their misery. But, whoo, stoked theirs. Not the yellow fin, but it's epic to have a couple of nice tuna on board. First tuna for the summer. Epic. Well, I've been sorting out these tuna. There's a boat just where I got this uh, tuna, and they're screaming out there's two marlin over there. So once I've bled these, these uh, tuna, I'm going to get these lures back in the water. I don't exactly want to catch a marlin, but it'd be cool to go over there and just check out what's, uh, what's happening. There must obviously be some fish around here, so might just keep tying the lures in this area, see what else shows up. All right, we've got another fish on. It's feeling like another big Albie. Man, they can move. Coming at the kayak. <laughs> Let's back this drag off a bit. Now that it's getting close to the kayak. Here it comes, can see it down the bottom there. <laughs> now that's a run. got itself my other line I think so I'm just gonna whack these hooks out <coughs> actually I might whack it into the kayak it might be a little easier whack it in there Albacore number three landed clearly a few of them around here and uh, this place is just flooded with uh, boats now they've all just turned up I think some of them Dead on the radio that there's some fish here. Alrighty, so I've had enough for uh, towing lures for the day. I've probably done about good 50 or 60 k's and my legs are starting to give out so I made my way back in and it's only four o'clock now so I've still got a bit of time up my sleeve. Sun's setting at about nine o'clock at the moment so I'm gonna do a few drops on the way in with the soap pitch jig. I can find some bait, might do a bit of live baiting. And yeah, we've done the first drop of the slow pitch jig and hooked up here. Um, my take is that this is going to be a small snapper or a golden snapper. We're sitting just over 100 metres, so really could be anything. But uh, let's wait and find out. Oh yes, our first golden snapper for the day. Not a monster, but uh, I think that's probably worth keeping. Yeah, we'll get a couple of nice bullets off this little guy. So I think we'll take that one. So now we've got a golden snapper to go with our two albacore. Nice start. Okay, just went over a big patch of bait. 
I've got something on here. I have a feeling this is actually blue mackerel or tuna, judging by those super rapid head nods. It's definitely not a uh, Jack Mac, I don't think. Pretty sure there's going to be blue mackerel. Yeah, we've got one big blue mackerel. Slimy Mac. Super tangled up in these sabikis. There it is. He's probably actually a bit big for the uh, live bait tank, so I might just keep him as fresh bait. Right. Got the straight line rig rigged up, and now I'm going to slice this guy up. And I'm just going to do one slice straight down the middle and make this a big stray line bait. There you go, that's perfect. Two baits. Okay, well, the stray line bait's worked. Worked up to something. Doesn't feel monstrous, but not a bad fish. Probably going to be a snapper. Just looking at the sound and now there's quite a bit of bait actually mid water. Could be kingfish. Quite a bit of sign. It's a wee snapper. <coughs> Good eating size so snap, that's for sure. And that circle hook snailed him perfectly in the corner of the mouth there. There we go. Not a beast, but perfect little eating size snapper. And this one's going to be joining those two Albies and the uh, Goldie. So sort this one out and put it in the back. Okay, we're hooked into something big here. I think whatever fish I was pulling up has been uh, grabbed by a shark. Because we're getting towed. Yeah, this is feeling like a very big shark. I was actually quite curious to see what that fish was going to be. It felt like a... Um, Felt like it could have been a tuna or something. But what's this fish going to be? That's the question. I'm picking Marco. Or Hammerhead. Whatever it is, it's coming right up. Could be a big bronzy. What are you? <laughs> Seems to be coming in. What's it going to be? I think I'm going to have to uh, sacrifice my jig because this is, feels like a very big shark and don't particularly want to be getting my hands anywhere near a big shark and it's also taking us out to sea and it's pretty late in the day don't really want to keep going out to sea so <laughs> would quite like to get this guy in seems to be tiring out But uh, yeah, can't be far off now. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I'm actually pretty glad that happened. We've bust off. So I'm glad I didn't have to deal with whatever that fish was. That was a big fish. That's the biggest fish I've caught on the kayak to date. I'm glad I didn't have to see what it was. Yeah, it's broken off at the knot. I was putting a lot of hurt on it, so not surprised. <laughs> Well, that actually seems like an appropriate time to call it a day. Been out on the water for 13 hours now, so yeah, long day out here. I think that was the last nail in the coffin. I'm absolutely had it, so gonna wrap this trip up here, guys. What an eventful day it's been. I mean, no yellowfin tuna, obviously, but nice to tick that uh, albacore off the list. First albie on the kayak, so really stoked about that. But yeah, nice little golden snapper on the way in, and. Obviously an interesting end to the day with that big shark, so another epic day on the water. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.